Hey, what's up guys? It's Oakley, and it's the Total War Warhammer, and I'm going to be playing as the Empire. I got my nice Hellblaster volley gun deployed up on this hill. My ally is going to be Chaos, so we've got... Uh, I kind of told my ally to deploy on the left side and kind of try and present a front facing this way, because I was anticipating the Wood Elves would deploy units behind us, which it turns out they have with the Waywatchers and other units. I was scared of the woods here that they would have surrounded us, so better for us to deploy on this side. Uh, what have we brought? Well, I have the Hellblaster, which is going to be the centerpiece. Uh, the reason I brought this is because we're going against uh, Bretonia, and I figured that's the best way to blast apart these knightly regiments, would be with the Hellblaster Volley Gun. Uh, on top of that, what I've done is I've brought a Light Wizard, because I need the net uh, to be able to catch the Slippery Cavalry, and then I've got a couple units that are unbreakable, um, two flagellants and a tatter souls, the other tatter souls on the right hand side. And basically, I have some unbreakable units paired with handgunners, and in this case, uh, demigriff knights with halberds as well. And they're supposed to be kind of my uh, mobile forces to swat away enemy troops. So, on this side, it's going to be a pair of handgunners and Sigmar's sons just to try and knock back the enemy cabin. It looks like they're a little bit intimidated by this, especially with the hellblaster support. So, I think we're in a good position. Uh, this is a very tight blob of enemy wood elves pushing up very aggressive and my ally the chaos force is going to take this in full stride and decide to charge forward with all of his warbands uh, meanwhile an eagle decides to come behind our force uh, I think he's trying to get at our hell cannon or hell blaster so I just swivel about with some of my guns um, and what that does is it's actually a good move on our opponent's side not only does it threaten our cannons but it forces me to pull back the light wizard and all of my units essentially to try and deal with this threat. Uh, in the meantime, Chaos is going to be pushing forward. And I don't know why he decided to commit to an all-out assault, uh, but he's going to do just that. So a couple of spells are going to break the charge here, and then a couple more volleys, even more spells going to be coming in. Complete disruption of the Chaos Force. Bombardments, and look at this nice little turtle that they've got. Eternal Guards, and then Treekin, very meaty units up through the front. And then on the side, a nice, oh god, double forces with Lance Formation equipped right into Forsaken, who are super squishy. Yeah, it's going to do tremendous amounts of damage. So my ally is getting Shrekt. He tries to charge in here, but the enemy has a really nice, I love this blob. Uh, this, is a, this is a really cool... Um, kind of attacking Blob of the Wood Elves, Eternal Guards with shields uh, on the all sides, and then you have in the center Quick Reaction Forces with the War Dancers, Treekin as being the big units in the front to tank, and just given their size, they can soak up a big front here with just a couple units, so that's always nice. And then the Archers densely packed in the center to provide support, and then of course the Branch Wraith here, uh, and Orion to cast spells support and engage if need be so this is a nice self-contained blob and it's an island that will allow enemies to wrap around you while bretonia comes and does the dirty work so yeah i am kind of forced into a position where i have to try and help out my ally he's decided to charge in fully and so i can't allow this opportunity to go to waste yes i could sit back but if i do so he's gonna get obliterated so i figured i have to help out so what's my plan on doing so i'm gonna pull up all of my um, kind of quick reaction units, so the handgunners here, and they're going to be tasked with shooting back the Waywatchers, and then I'm going to sweep in with Tattersouls and Halberds. Halberds are here to move away and knock back these Knights of the Realm, and then Tattersouls to sweep in and start to come into this. And then I'm going to pull up with um, Call Friends, who's going to try and support, perhaps even in combat if he needs to. And then meanwhile, this great eagle, I'm just keeping away. And I'm going to start to get my volleys with the Hellblaster, a couple of shots with the Great Eagle, but mostly they're going to now train their guns on these Peasant Bowmen with Pox Arrows, who are going to try and whittle away at the Chaos Warriors with Halberds. Uh, so that's a good move on our opponent's part. That's what's going to stop this uh, Bretonia Cavalry Charge. So we really need to pull out. I'm trying to pull out with my forces. I'll see if my ally does the same. On this front, it does look like he has decided to pull out, but he's not going very far. This could be a problem. I do nab one of these Knights of the Realm with my Halberds, which is great. My Gunners are going to start to exchange with the Waywatchers, preferably in this case. And now my Demis are going to be activated. Or actually, it looks like I decide to shoot into these Knights of the Realm first, and then I'm going to be able to charge in with my Demis to chase them off and go after these Waywatchers. So this is a nice little combo to see that force off. In the center, Tattersouls are knocking boots with these guys, but oh god, Chaos has decided to charge. And look how much damage, concentrated fire of all three peasant units. Very cheap guys trading cost effectively in this case. My ally very willing to play the part of the AI. 
<laughs> in this battle. I'm glad I brought this Hellblaster because it's going to start to rake up kills anything that gets in this range. Yes, it's reduced, but when it does fire, man, does it do a lot of damage. So this archer unit is going to get pulverized. Meanwhile, my guns also, holy shit. Yeah, that is why I wanted to defend this position. So I'm going to be able to knock back these cheap Bretonia forces uh, on my little island here. And, oh god, here they go. They're going to get engaged. One of them already destroyed, so a third of the force down. Looks like he's going to try and pull back and chase after Knights of the Round, but that's not going to be amounting to much. You know, I'm going to retrain my Hellblaster Volley on to try and hit these guys. Don't know if that'll work. Over here, we have a lot of guys crushed in the center. All of the Chaos Marauders are going to be destroyed. I'm trying to put in some supporting fire with my guys. I'm doing a pretty good amount of damage to Knights of the Realm. Call France is also going to get in here. So we're doing a fair amount of damage, uh, but my allies' forces are starting to be uh, starting to run out. My wizard was also here to try and get some spells off. I was going to try and get a Vortex, but I figured I need to pull him back and rebuff this Cavalry Charge. The enemy does land some strikes partially against my handgunners, but Sigmar's sons are going to be here to blunt the charge. And then let's take a look at my Hellblaster. It's going to quickly reload. Try and give some parting shots to those knights as they pull back. My gunner is also going to reform. And Chaos is going to catch him on the way out. Yeah, here we go. A couple of volleys from my Hellblaster. Yeah, always nice to see guns used against... Knights of the Realm like that. Yeah, and they're going to start to waver. So I do like this position I've gotten here. I can area of effect these knights away, and if I can control them, this Hellblaster is more than equipped to deal with these flimsy units. Uh, it was just a shame that Chaos moved too forward, but I'm pretty confident uh, on my ability to ward off these attacks. There goes one of the Knights of the Realm. The next one is my target, and I still have flexible units to see off the remainder. Now, the main problem is going to be this big blob that's over here. Looks like a uh, penumbral uh, attack is shot off there but it was at the wrong angle it should have been cutting across here Prince Sigvald and Call Friends tearing it up in the front lines but these Treekins we really have no answer I charge in with my Demis uh, and they were gonna hit some of these uh, units the Glade Guard and all that but the uh, Bretonian units came back as well as some peasant mobs a lot of units just to chase me away Demigriffs with Halberds are still stuck in it um, but they're getting hit by a lot, uh, and now they're going to have to pull out. So really nice uh, one-two punch with our uh, opponents here, doing a lot of damage to us. Really good work. Uh, the cavalry doing a lot to screen and prevent this um, wood elf force from being surrounded. Meanwhile, back over here, my light wizard is being chased around by this... Uh, Great Eagle, but luckily I do have some spells on him, and so just as this Bird of Prey is going to try and get after me, I'm going to cast a little net on it, and tell him you want to fuck with me, cast a net on him, Gunners are going to turn him out, and they're going to unload on the Trap Bird, so this is going to be great. So that's why I really like this defensive position, and look at my Hell Blasters, oh, taking out ranks of the enemy. This is freaking a glorious spot. This is... Uh, Bretonia units like to always bring a lot of these kind of cheap peasants. Um, they're also, you know, very good for just having a lot of units um, soaking up your troops. And if... You know, I think I, I haven't experimented with this too much, but this is the first time I bring a Hellblaster. But I'm thinking it's a pretty good counter to these uh, Bretonia, you know, uh, fodder units. Because they tear through peasant forces. I mean, look at this. At a range, you can... Oh my god, you destroy any everything. So I'm thinking of bringing more of these Hellblasters against Bretonia. They can beat back, you know, shut down an entire assault, throw a couple Halberds and Gunners in the front, plus a net, and you can stop anything that Bretonia wants to throw through the center. Now, in this instance, I've been thwarted a little bit by the fact that my ally has gotten himself into a fight that we couldn't win. I had to commit, and now I was overwhelmed with my forces. A good job on our opponents for coordinating their assaults. It worked really well, and on our side, uh, not much we could have done. Well, that is of my ally charge. But yeah, here, look at these peasants. They're closing to engage. But even this, they cannot stand the withering fire of my Hellblaster. That is freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and watch this. It's doing almost no damage. And meanwhile, these ranks are getting crushed. They should both route here pretty soon. Yeah, there goes one. The other is going to be going soon. And then a little flagellant force to beat back these units. My god, Hellblaster up to 206 kills here. Doing tons of work. So it looks like we've stabilized this side as well. Gunner's also going to be able to pivot around and shoot at these Knights of the Realm who are going to rout. So I'm shoring this up pretty handedly, I felt. I was very happy about how this position held up. Yep, there goes Bretonia. Still routing. 
but now I'm kind of, this is all I have left. I still have a Light Wizard. I was going to try and do a 1-2 punch where I was going to cast a net. I was hoping um, I would be able to regenerate enough um, Winds of Magic to be able to cast uh, like the, the Vortex spell on this blob, but unfortunately I didn't have it. So the best I can do is to just tie down this huge force here, keep them from moving. Had I had the Hell Blaster turned about, this would have been so much potential damage. Uh, the Hell Cannon is going to try and do just that. Actually, it looks like he's going to retarget against this blob. That's not the, the choice I would have made. I would have definitely targeted this force. But yeah, Bretonia has been beaten back on this front. Um, unfortunately, I lost Kyle Franz. And now, look at this force. It's untangling itself from the nets. Now it's going to start to pour forward. Not much I have left to beat them back. And still, some Knights of the Realm in the rear. Spearman routed. And now I'm going to start to get a chain route. All of my units decide to break. Uh, Light Wizard included, and all I have are my Unbreakable Forces, Hellblaster routes, so that's the last of the um, the luck I have on my side that's running. So that's going to be about it. Unbreakable Unit's going to make the last of their efforts, make their presence known here. 36 kills, and he's going to go up against Spearman at Arms. I very much expect those Flagellants to win. And uh, these Sigmar Sons trying to hold their own, but with Cavalry on the... You know, on the rise and free reign and more units in lance formation coming back around. Ooh, yikes. I'm very scared of our <laughs> their chances of survival. Fight at the Hell Cannon is underway, though. And this is where I'm going to try and commit. But, oh, God. I've, for I've been forced to turn my back and look at what this is going to usher in. A big charge into the flank. Ooh, and they toss people everywhere. Not much left of my guys. That lance charge is punishing. Now, of course, you'll notice here that it does, um, while you're in Lance Formation, it has huge debuffs to uh, the ability to uh, withstand missile fire. So, minus 48 missile parry, minus 12% speed. Oh, God, tons of bombardment. But anyways, if you see the Knights um, form up in Lance like that, that's where that's a prime target for my Hell Blaster. So, I almost wish at this point I had brought two, but I don't think I could have afforded that. I already tossed all my infantry into the fight, into the meat grinder, and yeah, it did not turn out very well. I think if we'd have stayed a little bit more uh, clustered up, we probably would have done better. Um, the enemy, of course, with the Wood Elves with a lot of bows, could have just slowly moved closer and closer and closer and probably outgunned us. And I think they would have just kited us to the end. But I think anything would have been better than my ally charging forward as he did. Had he shown a little bit more patience, I think we could have had even more kills on this Hellblaster, chosen the prime targets of the Glade Guards, and even used the Net of Amentok to tie down the Glade Guard and this Wood Elf Blob and even cast some Vortex on it to slow it down. And then finally, when we were ready, charge in. Uh, but alas, it was not the case. Wasn't able to get good communication with my ally. And, uh, you know, perhaps our builds weren't that suited for the fight at hand as well. Now the last of my troops are going to be the Flagellants, Unbreakable. They're going to be fighting to the last. And, uh, oh god, another spell getting off. That is it. Couple pox arrows coming in, and they will be doing a little bit of friendly fire, I believe. But uh, who cares at this point? They've got lifeblood that they can cast. These guys aren't going anywhere. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I was having a very fun time on this battle, bringing the hell blaster. Let's go ahead and end the replay and take a look at how many kills it got. It's definitely something I'm going to try and bring in future battles. Yes, it's expensive, but expensive, excuse me. But with 255 kills and the amount of zone of control it can do, you saw how it shredded that Bretonian peasant force. I am eager to bring more of these. Rest of my force really not showing much. Uh, gunners are mostly de dealing with great eagles and doing some preliminary damage. And my infantry just not doing too well. Demigriff knights with halberds not paying for themselves. They got caught in a blob trying to kill uh, enemy archers, but got tag team by Orion and others. So not a good use of those guys. Um, ally... Doing good work with the Hell Cannon. He got two Chevrons. I'm not sure if that's all battle experience or if he had done that previously. Uh, but I'm never conv convinced by these Marauder Blobs. They just never pay for themselves. Especially against, you know, Wood Elves, which are just going to shoot them up. And Bretonia that's going to run them over. Don't really see the um, train of thought that led to this choice. Uh, what else do we have? Manzigert here is a pretty good player. It looks like he got a lot of kills on his Knights of the Realm, staying very mobile. And of course, a big peasant blob force here that did work, especially the archers. Masses of those just firing away at the Chaos Warriors with halberds. Yikes. Very cost effective there. Uh, Riser here doing pretty good. Treekin blob in the center. And Gladeguard doing a lot of arc. Even the Eternal Guards. Overall, our enemies trading very cost effectively. And uh, yeah, with 807 force, you would expect that. 
um, ultimately. And he had a lot of units there standing strong till the end. I think it was kind of the branch wraith trying to support them. Oh man, 200 kills on Orion. That's absurd. <laughs> Uh, not m not really sure how we could have dealt with this better given our composition, uh, but I think the 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 big uh, thing we could have done is the elves were in a big blob. Had we been able to train both of our artillery units and just fire into that, get a couple of nets and vortexes in there, and I think this would have softened this force up way way more. Um, and yeah, so that's about it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.